hello guys and welcome to another exciting video on this channel in this video i'm going to show you how to prepare your artwork files for clocks actually for wall clocks to be sold on redbubble for the purpose of this video i'll be using the template provided by redbubble and i'll be using photoshop for this purpose now if you upload your design a simple design on your um, on redbubble account uh, you can still uh, put that design on redbubble because redbubble doesn't necessarily requires you to design a separate template for their uh, wall clocks uh, but it is uh, it's super easy and if you uh, take some uh, extra work and and uh, you know uh, do something a little bit modification in your artwork uh, then you can uh, create a design that will be able in my opinion that will sell more as compared to just putting the design on uh, on a, on the uh, clock because here you can see that if i put this design on the clock uh, i can still uh, uh, you know move forward and then uh, uh, submit this design and it will be okay uh, but uh, you can see that there are no uh, numbers uh, mentioned around uh, around this artwork or the design element and uh, it, it it will be a good idea if we have uh, these numbers or the chapter rings around this uh, original artwork and for the purpose of this video uh, as i already said that if you download this psd template that the redbubble it uh, has provided so it will be a lot of helpful because sometimes uh, it it's quite difficult to uh, you know uh, um, uh, align all the elements uh, for example this uh, the letters uh, these this is one two three four all that and uh, perfectly align them in, in such a way that uh, if the clock actually tells the correct time so for the purpose of this video i will be using the uh, psd template so uh, after downloading this template and once you open it in your photoshop uh, in your photoshop uh, this is what you usually see so there are two groups that are actually um, uh, not visible right now so if the first one is the guides and it will just show you create a uh, you know just a mock-up of your artwork so that you know how your artwork will look and uh, the another one is these chapter rings and in this chapter rings there are different uh, designs that they already have created some are just numbers then there are roman numbers and then there are diamonds and dashes and uh, other other different types of things so uh, you can use these and also you can create your own if you if you would like to do so uh, but i'll be uh, using the, the, the these default ones that they have provided and uh, at the bottom uh, you can see that they have mentioned in, in this layer is that you should uh, you uh, your artwork here which means yeah, that if you double click here uh, and a new uh, document will open and you will be able to place your artwork here now in my opinion there can be three scenarios uh, or you can see three categories in which your artwork may lie either your artwork is a simple artwork uh, you might have designed it for some other platform maybe for uh, much by amazon and it will be a simple artwork with a transparent background and there is nothing uh, going on beyond the you can say edges of the artwork or it is not it's something that it has a specific um, you can see it it is within these boundaries of the document or the file and uh, you can simply put it uh, on your artwork as i already shown you in the clock template and it will be okay and the second uh, scenario is the if you have a certain pattern design or your pattern artwork um, uh, because these are uh, pattern designs are usually put on uh, different all over print dresses um, on these duvet covers and uh, blankets and all these things so if you have that uh, pattern design uh, that is the second scenario and the third scenario uh, maybe you have a photograph you usually sell uh, photographic prints and all that uh, or maybe you have an artwork that or a painting or something like that that is uh, you know just in the form of these uh, rectangular uh, shape or maybe a square shape artwork so these are mainly three scenarios that i have in my mind and I'll be preparing the um, clock template for all of these th three scenarios. So let's come to the first scenario where we have an artwork and that is the simplest of all of them. So uh, I can just uh, move, actually, why I, actually I can just move it 
put it in this um, yeah, template uh, as you uh, as I've already shown you if you double click this layer your artwork here a new uh, document will open and and uh, you will be able to place uh, your artwork here now I can uh, center it document and I can uh, just resize it and uh, place it uh, within these boundaries you know this green boundary and uh, just to try to uh, place it uh, at an optimal position and that i feel suitable after that i'll just uh, hide all these uh, layers and if i want i can put a background i think and let's say let's put a white background uh, so i can change the background if i want it on on a, some specific color of background or if you just want it on a transparent background i can just uh, hide this layer and it will be on a transparent background for, uh, uh, but for let's uh, for uh, now let's just uh, put it on a white background and i'll press ctrl s to save it and it will be updated in the document in the original uh, document and if i turn on the guides there you will be able to see that i can see a little mock-up here and uh, let's change the frame color to some other uh, let's choose black okay yeah so this is the mockup and if I turn on, on these chapter rings means these numbers you can still see that uh, I can resize this original artwork a little bit uh, make it a little bit smaller so that it does not touch these numbers and it will be and this template will be okay to go and I can save it and put it on red bubble and uh, that will be okay to go uh, and also uh, with uh, in addition to these numbers I can turn on these uh, diamond shapes or maybe dashes well not dashes so I, if I turn on these dashes I might uh, turn this off and you know reduce the size of these numbers you know uh, decrease their size and uh, that will be okay too uh, so that only depends upon uh, your uh, imagination and how you would like to see your artwork in in the final clock template so let's come to the uh, second thing that is the pattern thing and uh, this is where we are going to modify this template a little bit uh, to make it more interesting so <clears throat> before i do that use this pattern i'm just going to um, go to edit and then define pattern and uh, let's name it as it so now it is now this file this pattern has been saved in the uh, photoshop pattern swatches so again we are here in this um, uh, uh, you can say that uh, it's in this smart object and if I turn this off and then I go to this layer and create a new pattern layer I'll be able to use this pattern that I have just shown you so I can uh, scale this uh, pattern down and and I can you know uh, make as many tiles as I would like let's put it at 100% and then uh, let's save it so now if i press ctrl s and save it this design will be updated in this uh, in this uh, our main file and uh, if i just turn on these chapter rings let's just uh, these put these numbers you can see that the numbers are kind of getting mixed up with the design element and they are not uh, that prominent uh, as they sh uh, if they would have been prominent it would make this design a little bit more interesting so I can uh, so now I would just uh, modify this template a little bit so that uh, it gets uh, it uh, so that we can create interesting designs using our patterns. So uh, for the, this purpose, I'll just uh, hide the guides and then hide the the chapter rings and select the bottom layer. Now I will go to uh, these shapes uh, on the left hand side and I'll select and uh, let's say I an ellipse tool so now i have selected an ellipse tool and uh, i can create an ellipse while pressing the shift key so that it is a uh, perfect circle so now i have created an ellipse and uh, it is not centered uh, i can just center it uh, you know once it snaps around so i have just centered it here and uh, i can change its color uh, by going to uh, by selecting the same shape layer and then uh, let's make it uh, black in fact let's just uh, double click here and then uh, choose color overlay and in this we will be able to select anything from the pattern itself uh, so we can select this red color and uh, for now just uh, make it black so now we have made it black 
and uh, if i turn on these guides i'll be able to see that uh, how much uh, bigger or smaller the circle should be so i think i should make this circle a little bit more smaller so i'm going to uh, make it a little bit smaller and uh, let's say uh, about this size so i now have made this circle smaller and now it's time to turn on these chapter rings layers so now the numbers are on but the numbers are going beyond uh, this thing so uh, let's just uh, select this um, uh, this what what uh, you can say is this uh, editable numbers and let's just create a copy of it because we don't want to mess uh, the original uh, original uh, files or original layers so as we have just created this copy now we're going to uh, right click and then select uh, merge group this will create a single layer from this group so now once the layer is actually uh, one a separate layer is created we can actually scale it down and make it smaller and make it more visible, uh, visible on this black area that we have just created so uh, we have just uh, uh, put it on this black circle and it's invisible because it's black so let's turn the overlay into a uh, white area or white color and that will be uh, you know uh, visible on this area let's make it a little bit more smaller okay so now it's uh, smaller and then let's uh, create and make it more interesting so we select this diamond layers and then put it again now it is also black so let's just go to uh, its uh, layer styles and then choose a select color now we can choose a color from again from uh, within the design if we like to you know modify these things uh, according to our designs so that's the uh, you can say that benefit of creating our own template that we can actually modify the colors within these things uh, according to our own designs and uh, now let's create uh, let's say let's create let's uh, duplicate this thing oh sorry let's duplicate it and then let's uh, uh, make it uh, let's change this color from uh, you can see that uh, from black to let's say uh, I have select, let's say this one so I have selected this one and then close then I'm now I'm going to make it even smaller so now it's smaller but you can see that it's not looking that good uh, so let's modify this the inner circle and let's change its uh, uh, you can say the fill to none and then uh, let's change the uh, you can say that it's thickness about something uh, let's let's make it 25 pixel let's say just 25 pixels so now we have created an inner circle around it and uh, if we can change the color by double clicking it and changing the color overlay to anything that we might like uh, according to our design our pattern design and if we require we can easily scale it up a little bit and uh, you know change the thickness of this uh, inner layer again by going to the circle and changing its thickness from 25 to let's say just uh, 16 something so now we have created an interesting template for our patterns that is really helpful when you have a pattern design and you, uh, you can tile the pattern up but it uh, makes the chapter rings quite invisible so you can use these kind of things this kind of template in that inner circle where the pattern itself is visible and also the pattern is kind of incorporating your, your chapter rings so that was one of the scenarios where you have uh, this pattern design but what about the design where you have this thing where you have a photograph or a, a maybe an artwork that is completely covering all the artwork all the you know file or all the artboard so let's uh, go to the third scenario uh, let's just uh, make these two things invisible and uh, let's also make these chapter rings invisible for now let's say we have this photograph and we want to place it on our clock we can just place it on our clocks and uh, that will be okay to go without any trouble and uh, it is a much bigger file and so we can just scale it down a little bit so we can scale it uh, accordingly as we would like where we have 
the main element of our object or of our artwork at the center uh, and that's why once we save it and uh, it appears in our clock template and you can see that in the main element is appear at the center or in a, in a more uh, you can say interesting way at this point uh, but again we can modify this we can just uh, put the chapter rings here here and it will be visible so for this purpose and this can be okay if your uh, these colors are not kind of mixing up with your artwork and they are, are uh, you know they are actually still prominent but if they are not prominent and they are uh, kind of invisible um, with this with your artwork so then again you can modify this way and this is what i usually would like to do uh, is that again i will i'm going to create a circle so i just created a circle again and i can just uh, center it actually just turn off these guides so that i can center it easily so now it is centered and uh, if i turn on the guides again and the chapter rings so you can see that the chapter rings are still uh, they are visible here and uh, we can again modify these chapter rings and I make it a bit uh, bigger and close to the edges now let's go back to the circle we have just created and let's uh, make it bigger here yeah. so we made the circle bigger but now you can see that it has covered all of our uh, our artwork in fact let's just make it a little bit smaller because what we are going to use here is the same thing that we have done previously but a little bit changing here so instead of fill layer we are going to make it thickness about it let's say let's say 100 pixels how does that look actually it's too small let's make it uh, uh, even bigger that's uh, uh, something like that so we can scale it up a little bit yes yeah scale it up here a bit and then again and we we'll go to our thickness and increase the thickness yeah i think uh, that's fine and now go again uh, actually we have not changed it to any other layer so let's uh, just create a copy of these numbers and then merge the group well, now that we have merged the group let's uh, double click here and again we are going to layer styles and then we are going to create our layer so that it is visible now you can see that it is visible and we can again modify our thickness of this uh, our stroke a little bit let's make it 480 pixels and that is looking quite well now you can see that the artwork itself is quite uh, you know that not that interesting so but we can actually change it and make it uh, make it interesting uh, by going to uh, scaling it down a bit let's hide this pattern save it and it's still visible you know so we can actually uh, decrease uh, change its position accordingly as we would like to do and uh, so that it looks uh, good on our final uh, you know final image final design i think that looks better and i can still uh, go here and change its opacity and uh, depending upon our uh, you know image or anything like that or maybe change its uh, uh, you know um, their uh, ellipse uh, change the color and maybe select one of the colors from our own artwork from the image itself so uh, that totally depends upon uh, what you would like to do with your uh, you know uh, design or image or template that totally depends upon you and we can just uh, put uh, in this one uh, um, on our account and upload it uh, or maybe if we don't like these numbers we can use these uh, dime and dashes these type of things so we can use these numbers according uh, uh, in combination with the uh, modification that we have done with this uh, template um, so this these are the three, three scenarios that I, I wanted to cover in this video and if you have anything other in my in your mind another scenario where uh, you need to modify your uh, red bubble clock template and uh, let me know and i'll uh, try my best to answer that question and um, if you have found this video to be useful make sure that you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you can be notified about my future videos as well and thank you for watching